people, welcome to the channel. Okay, so my name is Paul, and this is my ride. Right? So, this is how it starts little garage, big project. Okay, so, just gonna pop it up, open it a little bit. that a little bit all right so my name is Paul as I said yeah uh, so this is my channel I figured I had this car I had this interest so people ask me all the time why don't I just make a channel and talk a little bit about the stuff so why why not I'm thinking let's do it all right so well I always had interest uh, about cars since I was six years old always loved the cars the speed of it, the excitement of the whole thing, and the, and the beauty, the, the design. So I always had this passion, always this drive to, to get me there. So I had this dream, big dream, and then one day she was here. So yeah, it's uh, it took me two years, like actively uh, searching for this car on the on the net, on the internet to yeah just locate the right one for me basically so she's a 94 gtr original no rebuild no nothing stock uh, except some um, minor uh, adjustments but uh, yeah so she's a 94 she's a kooky which is a third generation so this is the last one in the 32 platform so i think that's pretty cool um so and what's amazing about this particular car is that it's got a lot of nice touches to it that I liked because I was looking at cars and I was thinking that okay so the the interior I really don't like the interior the original interior is pretty boring for me I, I I think so so this one has a complete well close to complete interior Nismo interior it's got the, the seat covers which is professionally sewn into the original seats which lifts the interior like whew, amazingly much and you got Nismo floor mats, you got Nismo gauges. I don't have the Nismo uh, gear shift lever. I don't know if I actually like that one. I'm not quite sure. So I've been struggling with myself a little bit. What to get uh, for the lever there. So for now, it's just the original one. Um, <clears throat> engine wise, yeah, like I said, my number of occasions, the restrictors, uh, the boost restrictors, restrictors are gone. So it's running about one boost. And there are some uh, Grady air airings filters. Uh, there are split fire coils. It's pretty much it. And uh, so, running the course of the, the my time with her, we will we will be adjusting some of that that performance. Um, there'll be they will come in a wish list and uh, what I want to do with this car. Um, and they're significant and they also cost a little bit. So. But uh, for now, the modification I've done to her is um, basically just uh, like minor touches because basically a dumb car. Uh, but I got the plates on her, the JDM plates, which reflects the channel name, just they're marvelous. Uh, I just, just like the whole culture around it. I got a Shirkawa on the back, it's just for the fun of it, you know, it's, it's part of that culture. Got a little Godzilla in the uh, the um, mirror. I don't know the name really in English. So um, yeah, I got some uh, Grady, also uh, strut towers, strut bars, uh, back and uh, in the back and in the front. And engine damper. I got uh, oil cooler uh, lying around. I'm gonna put that in one day maybe. Not quite sure. A deep dish sparkle steering wheel with some nice touches though. I think uh, what I want with this car is the um, uniqueness of, of the details in it. So personally, I, was, I haven't seen any the equal combos to this car um, ever. So I'm pretty happy about that. Um, yeah, blitz coilovers. 
uh, running a little bit high, but uh, this is in fact Norway and the western part of the, com of the country. So we have got a lot of uh, bad roads here. So um, that is definitely uh, a necessity uh, to have a little bit clearance. So, and uh, for the wheels, we got uh, Rota grids. Um, in every corner, of course, two, what, what was it? It's 10 and a half inch wide, 18s. So currently running 255, 45, 18, I think. I used to run 265s, two, two 40 uh, around every corner. Um, but then it was touching on the inner inner um, screens and a little bit in, in the wheel well. So I went down to 255s, uh, running that smoothly. So, yeah. Um, yeah, and uh, so I'll show you a little bit uh, my garage, film a little bit uh, about that. Um, what needs to be done with the car right now, uh, I would like to take her for a drive with you guys, of course, and, uh, and show you the beautiful Norwegian mountains, where this car belongs, definitely. And uh, some of you might know, you can put a little switch into the car and uh, that's what i really loved about this platform though uh, is that you can turn it into uh, basically a drift car 100 uh, percent rear wheel drive and uh, with the i don't know approximately 400 horsepower now at the crank yeah you, you can get it a little bit tail happy uh, so yeah i like that though but driving it if you really want driver you you uh, you put it in four wheel like in the, um, <laughs> the all-wheel drive system the um, Atessa system I think it's called yeah so um, using that and the the high cast system I actually like that I hear all people deleting the high cast system I don't know exactly why like even when I'm driving in two in rear wheel mode I, I enjoy it because it, it's kind of I don't know like it's pointing me in the right direction I don't know so I currently I like it um, so um, but yeah I have a, also I have a GTS T uh, which is just a shell for now but I hope uh, to have a bigger project around that car later on uh, I got some some ideas though of course for that car and it's gonna it's gonna be nice stuff I can do on the, on the original GTR I, I just I just had the, the, the decency the, the indecency <laughs> basically to to cut into this car no it's uh, it's perfect as it is so but I need a little bully car so that will be the GTS team so um, but we'll come back to that in, in another episode so yeah <clears throat> so I think that's uh, pretty much it for the talk today my right, guys you're right back